A wood stove. So you like, do you light the fire? Please tell me you cleaned it. Oh God. I love that the caption is, would you eat this? Because the answer is always yes. Oh. Ooh, the chicken neck. Uh, I would that thing up though. That looks so good right now. Welcome back everybody. Yeah, dynamite intro, Mrs. Lush. Honey, you love to cook. Sure do. I love to eat. So why don't we look at some unconventional ways to cook things that I might like to eat. All right, let it How go. How do you feel about it? Let's do it. Little doggy egg roll. <laughs> that was cute. Is that a single sesame seed? No, that's not a sesame seed. Oh. Oh. <laughs> How are you going to make it stay looking like a dog? That's impressive. You ever like cooking eggs super thin like that, no. wrapping things? This like eight bit sounds like Chrono Trigger music. That's adorable. It's, it's literally just rice and eggs. I know. It's not really an egg roll, technically. It's more to like. I guess that's a kid to eat it, probably. There you go. Like when oh. they cut things in the shape of Mickey Mouse. Tenderloin on a stone stove? Uh, this is real barbarian. I love this. What? I don't know. I'm into it, though. Clearly, this guy, like... He's like, man stuff. Yeah, yeah, this guy knows how to make videos that a dude would be like, yeah, I wish I could do this. Hmm. <clears throat> a wood stove. So you like do you light the fire? Please tell me you cleaned it. Oh god. He even crunched up his own spices. Did you see that? Starting a fire from scratch, of course. Oh, and tell that. me you cleaned that. Hun, it's a st it's literally a stone in nature. How how bad could it be? Like, of course you're going to wipe the dirt off, but all Ooh. it's been doing is collecting rainwater. Yeah, there's just you think there's a random put it's probably just like a big thing of sheep shit right on yeah, it. Oh, come on. on it. I love this guy's videos already. That is a huge roast, too, by the way. It is very big. He's searing it. How is he then gonna... Wait, is the is the cutting board the hot part? No. That's separate, right? God. Like, with the back... Look at the view, too. Like, this... It's so strange to... Sauce? Come on. Oh, my How shit. How much would my you It's watering now. No, there's the stove. Get your stove. hands on that meat. What a legend. All for an internet video. God bless this man. Oh, no. This man's going to enjoy a nice meal. This blend of, like, absolutely off-the-grid living and hyper technology, like, editing for the internet is very interesting. And people... Love it. When you do stuff that's like the beauty of things that have nothing to do with technology mm -hmm. and capture it with technology in a way that's engaging, quite a combination. That was a beautiful tenderloin. <laughs> How about a ground meat sandwich? I love that the caption is, would you eat this? Because the answer is always yes before mm -hmm. I even finish watching the video. Do not care what it looks like. I know I would enjoy it. Oh, God. The Hawaiian sweet rolls. Full package. So you bake it and then, oh, then you just cut them and you're done. Oh, hell, that looks good. That looked really good. And yes, I would eat that. Uh, deviled egg burger, you would not eat, but I would, because well, I love deviled eggs. Oh, look at that cute That's little thing. That's a little more unconventional than the last That one. is wild. That looks so good. Now I make it's like protein style. Time, but here I just did salt, pepper, paprika, and mayo. Poop it into your egg, then a small cheesy patty, topping with the huh. other half of your egg. Finish with sesame seeds and don't share with anyone. Poop it? I think he said poop. That's how you do deviled eggs, right? You take the yolk and like mush it with a bunch of other stuff and then refill it. Mayo and seasoning. Yeah. Finish with sesame seeds and don't share with anyone. Easy 10 out of 10 recipe. But tell me, why am I just learning? I mean, keto friendly, let's go. Oh, we don't do keto, but if nope. sometimes I try to limit my carbs, that would be, well, much more work than it's worth. But if I had enough chef in my house making that, I'd eat those all day. That looks so good. You don't have a chef in your house? Oh, you wouldn't make that I would make it if you Actually, requested yeah, it. Yeah, you would try. Yeah, you, you do. I do have a chef in my house. But if it's not on Instagram, did you really make it? 
Yeah, didn't think so. If there's not a video about it. How can we prove that it's been done? I know. What was I making the other day? And you guys were like watching me at the I counter. Know. Like, I feel like I put we're them like, on a cooking show I right was now. like, why don't we have cameras in this kitchen, hon? People would love watching you make stuff in your cute little apron when you're wearing only the apron. What? I mean, in that, in your cute little apron. What were you making, though? Enchiladas? Yeah, you were making the, you were prepping the enchilada sauce. Yeah. Which we enjoyed last night, the enchiladas. Skinny taste, delicious. One of, probably one of my favorite recipes you've been making for years. Agree. McDonald's burrito is back. I mean, obviously that's gonna be amazing. Like, couldn't possibly be a thing that's any worse for you. That's like very reminiscent of epic mealtime stuff. Sure. From early YouTube days. Is this the same guy? It has to be. Uh, it is, yep. That was a beautiful stone thing. So this is this guy's thing. Yeah. Yeah. That sausage it actually works. looks very good. and Yeah, I could, like, if this came up on my Reels feed on Instagram, I probably wouldn't swipe away. You could get sucked in. I'm sucked in right now. Doesn't help that I'm hungry, as I always am uh, when I record these videos. I thoroughly enjoy cooking videos, and of course this is you just do, another uh, level. Well, yeah, there's something about doing it in the wild that's just particularly intriguing. The amount of preparation and setup this takes to get all the camera angles is very underappreciated because so we only see the final product, but it probably takes this guy quite a long time to do this. Oh, yeah. Is he going to cook it? Is this like another stone cookware thing that he puts on a... Oh, yeah. Oh. Yeah, there it is. Oh. oh. How's he getting that footage? Ooh-wee. A egg in there? Now we're talking. Huh. A little salt, a little... And some tea. And I he's don't dipping. really know what that is. I like, don't either, but it looks, kind of dish. looks amazing. Just a, like, yes. just a breakfast of some sort. And he's got a dog. Hey, buddy. Have you seen that guy? There's... I don't even want to get into it. There's another guy that does similar types of things, but he does it with a real retro aesthetic, like all very 90s-ish. Hmm. He's got like a VHS player, and he's like very soft-spoken Canadian dude. And he goes, hey there, buddy. How are you gonna make it? He's got like the soft ASMR voice and he makes really cool recipes. Is he talking to the camera when he says, hey yeah, buddy, yeah, or yeah, a dog? Yeah. yeah, and at the very end, like after he does this type of video, he has the finished product and he goes, there you go, buddy. And he like he hands it to the camera. <laughs> you guys know what I'm talking about. <laughs> spicy lobster rolls from New England. It better be spicy. Brady's Kitchen. I would, uh, why have I never had a spicy lobster roll? I've never seen one. I like, I like spicy everything, and I've just never, I don't think I've ever seen one out either. Why don't they serve these in restaurants? This sounds amazing. Just spicy and lobster in general. Like, I've worked in a lot of restaurants, places that serve lobster. Usually it's like the lobster tail at the steakhouse or the chilled claws and tails like in the seafood platter, but I never see any sort of spicy lobster preparation. I have not either. Which makes no sense because that feels like it would be awesome because obviously lobster you pair with butter, butter goes well with spice. What's the you deal? You put spice on everything, though. Yeah, what, as it should be on everything, because it's delicious. Is he making his own rolls? God, oh my God, God, he is. God bless him, those look. I would just eat that roll. Holy just hell, that, that buttered roll, roll looks so good. Woo, see you Homemade later. buttered I'd be sourdough just happy with roll. That. Put that thing under my pillow. What are those? Sage. Oh, thank you. There it is. Oh yeah. Oh, and then he, yeah, he put the finished product at the beginning. Got it. Yeah, there it is. Oh my gosh. Oh, that looks good. Oh yeah. Yeah. Oh yeah, baby. Are you salivating? Yeah, I am. Crispy crust beef knuckle? That Excuse sound, me? That sounds devious a little bit. What is a beef? I've heard of a beef knuckle, but what exactly, what part of the animal is I don't that? know. Now I'm so confused. Looking at it, what the hell is it? The beef knuckle is a subprimal from the beef round. It's an exceptionally lean, very affordable cut from the round between the top and the bottom round. Well, whatever the hell that means. Yeah, so subprimal, I mean, it's like not going to be your tenderest. It's super lean, whatever. So you kind of got to doctor it up. It looks like a uh, fair, the fried turkey legs a little bit. What a beef oh, knuckle. you love those things. Oh, by the way, this video is three minutes and 43 seconds. No, I'm not watching three minutes of beef knuckles. Not be doing. So you sear it, season it, roast it with some, was that grapefruit? What was that? Orange or grapefruit. Okay, now we're tenderizing it after it's been roasted. What did we roast it in? Oh yeah, yeah, the deep, the deep stone fire pit. Oh, it like falls all the way down. 
Yeah, that is definitely unconventional. Yeah, uh, I would f that thing up though. That looks so good right now. A little dark meat action covered in seasoning. Pop the veggies. Oh, you're gonna put it in a burrito? We're just taking this thing the whole way. I would just eat it right off the bone, but that's just me. Well, you're a caveman, so. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, and then you get a little bit of the beef tallow out of the... Interesting. Or what do they call that? The uh, marrow. marrow. I, probably marrow, or it looks fatty. I know, it does. Hun, will you prepare my beef knuckle, please? No, thank you. Sweetheart, beef knuckle! Sure, give me four hours. Followed by moose knuckle! Wait, is that the male version of camel toe? Loose knuckle? I'm pretty sure. Like, if you pull your shit tight and, like, your balls separate around the seam of the pants, that's your moose knuckle. That is yeah. camel toe. Yeah, I'd prefer camel toe over moose yeah. knuckle, but... That is someone's name in my fantasy football league. Moose knuckle? Moose knuckle. Yeah. <laughs> that's a very fantasy football-esque yeah. name. Yeah. yeah, mine's Mrs. Lush. Well, now <laughs> yours can be beef knuckle from now on. No, I'm the only girl. <laughs> what about camel knuckle? That nah, doesn't hit the same. How often have you gazed enviously at the exotic creations of master bakers and chefs? Master well, bakers? Envious anymore, for here are a few professional tips are you a master baker? With the Absolutely. Of tools and ingredients demonstrated by the famous husband and wife cooking team, Fanny and John Crabbe. I'm a cunning linguist. These butterflies are simply oh. cubes of dry bread or cake decorated with butter, see what I did colored there. with yeah. a harmless vegetable dye. She's like, shut up, I'm watching the cooking video. Is this curry? This is yeah. curry, right? Probably delicious. An illustration of how a most uninspiring subject yeah. might be much maligned. We have not had curry a in a very long time. Years. Did we order it once when we lived in our old house? I feel like we ordered takeout. Yeah. Thai yeah. food. Yeah. We haven't had, oh, we had a bang in Thai place when we lived in, when we used to rent, we right? City, yeah, 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 when we were west of the city. Oh, that was so good. We used to order from there. We got to find there, a Thai no, place. There is one. There's a Thai there, place There's one us? in a neighboring town. Put it on the, the to-do list. We need to get Thai food. So next time we're like, oh, let's get Chinese. No, let's get Thai. Okay. Yeah, curry. Whole chicken fried with bucket. Sorry, they're apologizing. Uh, Sorry, Mrs. Lush. Yeah, my wife's not a big fan of chicken prep. It's already cooked though. Oh no, it's not yet. Oh. Ooh, the chicken neck. Why are we slicing the shoulders? So, so listen, I better? am Just get a little more. A little more prepared for this because I know we're watching cooking videos, so I expect some raw meat. Yeah, like but other hangs up by Oh, when, I, when I'm not right. prepared Over... for it and I just see raw meat, it grosses me out. Okay, so you're mentally you're prepared. It's just like over a bottle. That's very peculiar way to do it. Is that bottle have stuff in it that's gonna like boil over and marinate it? Cause that would be sweet. Probably, like I've never seen this, but I've heard of beer can oh. chicken and you like stick a beer can in there. And, and it like boils over I and guess. helps it. Never done it. It's usually indoors in the oven though, I think. Yeah. All right, yeah, okay. it looks like something boiled over. Or you could go to Market Basket juice. and spend $4.99 and get a rotisserie chicken. Pumped full of hormones. <gasps> what do you think that thing is? Why is that piece of chicken any different? Dude, he probably caught that in his farm. The f***ing neck was still attached to oh, yeah. You don't buy a chicken that looks like that in the store unless you get it from a butcher of some sort. You can't compare that neck attached piece of chicken that, that man probably got on his Mongolian chicken farm versus some sort of hormone pumped Purdue plastic wrapped piece of that came out of a factory. I'll still eat. I'll still. I'll still eat the shit out of it. But give me all the hormones, baby. I'm not worried about where it came from. It looked delicious though. More curry? What is this? Oh, prawn mas prawn masala? No. I don't know if I like so prawn is like a different version of shrimp, right? It's like kind of a That's big. It looks exactly like shrimp. I know prawn I feel like prawn's huge in the south, you see it all, all the time. I don't know why I think that. You just don't see prawn up here that much. It's all shrimp up here. Maybe I'm, I might sound like an idiot. Prawn might be another word for shrimp. I actually have to know prawn versus shrimp. It's like large shrimp. Similar appearance. Shrimp and prawns are two distinct species. Prawns tend to be larger and often they're taste the sweeter. There are more varieties of shrimp, both animals. All right, so they're very similar. Prawns are bigger and sweeter. So maybe I would like them. I mean, you like everything. So. <laughs> I know I would like them. I'm probably prone to like prawn. <laughs> 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 oh, boy. I really do kill myself. I'm very jealous of people's um, excellent cutting skills when they can use a knife really well. Yeah, well, you know that most of the time too, they're like doing this thing and it's like, they're just speeding it's, the video I up know, like 95 I know. times. Well, it looks cool. That said, 
I, there are people that can do it really fast and effectively, like chefs with knife skills. You are correct. Some people are insane with knives. I am not. I'm scared to like cut a carrot without cutting my finger off. <laughs> I always forget the finished products at the beginning. Yeah, uh, that looks very good. The bread. Uh... Pro oh, he's so happy. He just head down, clap. Nice. Wait, an ex Churrasco bar. Look at this thing, dude. Churrasco, e all right, this is in a language I don't understand, but um, <laughs> cooking is a universal language, so we can watch the video. What do you suppose that, is that just, beef? is that just beef? Oh, dude, I love cheese so much. I don't eat that much anymore, but just seeing things dripping in melted cheese gets me hard. Well, that was a weird tool to take the... Take the stem off. Or what was that, parsley? Herbs. Yeah. Probably cilantro. That looks like a... Uh, what do you call that? Pico? Pico, yeah. Oh my god, dude. Ah! <laughs> Gonna add in the laughing friends enjoying it at the end. What is that? Pizza, Pizza burger. Pizza burger, oh! All right. Okay, no, no, no. Let's just like fast forward to the final product real quick. Oh, here it is. Yes. Just, yes. Whatever burger you do to make pizza. that, yes. The cheese pull. Ugh. 10 out of 10 cheese pull. cheese pull. It's the most important part. How many takes does it to get for the right cheese pull? <laughs> How many takes does it get to get the right cheese pull? How many takes does it take? How many takes does it get? Aw. <laughs> How many takes does it take? How many licks does it take to <laughs> lick yourself to the center of a cheese pull? Chili crab pizza? Ugh. You hate the sound of that. That sounds awful. Oh, the Jack Chef. I love this guy. No. This is Ugh. a crab. <laughs> Let oh, it's still alive, too. Blah. Done. Oh, people don't like that. I love it. Did you just dismantle that crab while it was still alive? I guess that's just part of the cooking process, but... Wow, this is hyper-edited, huh? Stop. Shrimp. Crab. Remove. We better take that. Life hot. Wow. I guess if you boil it, it just slides right out. Okay. Uh, just, I, I nope. don't think you need to make that into a pizza. Nope. Not this time. They really went hard on like the story mode planning of that video. Yeah, it was a lot. And that stuff by itself would be good, but I'd much rather just have like a baguette on the side and eat it out of a bowl. Like I don't need to, if I'm picking up a piece of pizza, I don't want a whole ass chewy piece of oh, Alaskan work. King crab meat on the top. Yeah, it's just gonna be a nuisance to eat it that way. Huh? Cooking with an iron? Sure. This is like classic bachelor pad. <laughs> sure. Hey, if your stove breaks an egg on the bottom of an iron, what do they use in there? Wax paper or whatever that is? Parchment. Not parchment, yeah. Big beans. Can you remember finally that I love, that is wicked funny? Oh, I love the, the steam at the end. Oh my god, he was using a curling iron. Oh my god. To eat or what's he? No, at the end, er, he showed him like wrapping bacon around. Oh, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, I bet he just had to make hey, really nice wavy hair. Heat is heat, man. Doesn't matter where you get it from. It kind of does. It okay, maybe. Yeah, this is just another like completely useless thing that is fun to do to make internet videos. Oh God. Oh, the drill whisk. I've seen that before. Definitely. Oh, yeah, dude. Probably unnecessary for a single egg, but... The heck a, is a, that? a heat gun. That, all right. I didn't know a heat gun existed. I don't, think. I don't... They do. I don't know what they're used for typically, but probably not cooking bacon. Cooking rice with friction. Here we go. <laughs> I don't know if I believe this. It sounds like a show of some sort. Yeah. What the hell just happened? I don't believe it, what I just saw, but whatever the party trick is. I like it. Looks like a, wet, like, rice. Like, a, look like a wedding of some sort. But there's no way you're cooking rice that way. <laughs> Unless you're Chris Angel. Huh? Oh. 
<laughs> oh, my wife's not what she wants to do. This sounds disgusting. Cooking steak in the dishwasher. Have you ever cooked a steak in the dishwasher? Well, it it's looks good. It's crazy as it sounds, and it's the same principle as sous vide cooking. We started with a prime New York strip and seasoned it up with Crove beef. Then we put it in a bag with garlic and rose. I did an episode on extreme cheapskates one time years ago. You know that TLC show? Yeah. And that was one of the things that put some this woman and I, understandably like that show. It's a reality show on TLC, but we know that it's like 90% scripted, like every TLC reality show. And she cooked a lasagna in the top of her dishwasher, just with like a tin foil cover. What? I was like, that can't be real. No. This, however, I mean, they do get pretty hot in there. I can see it. They definitely get very I hot. I can see it. Working. Rosemary before vacuum sealing it. Then we just put in the empty dish. And at least this is vacuum sealed. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Got it. Cooks it about the same. A little more than a piece of tinfoil. Medium rare sous vide steak. And by the time you pull it out, it's perfectly medium rare, edge to edge. But of course, we don't want to eat it like this, so we need to give it a good sear. Yeah. I did that yeah. in a cast iron pan, starting with the fat cap. After I flipped it over, I added more rosemary and some butter before letting it rest and slicing it up. This is as perfectly cooked as any steak Looks I've good. ever made, and it's edge to edge, medium rare, with an amazing crust. Who needs a sous vide cooker when you have a dishwasher? I was going to say, you're also just wasting way more resources. Like, I really to, think so. To run an entire dish cycle with water than just putting it in an oven that heats at a fraction of the cost, probably. Or a grill. Or a grill, and whatever it, would it is. And sear it and cook it at the same time. <laughs> yeah. But that would make a less cool, unconventional cooking video to post online and get, you know, a couple hundred thousand views. Bread, bread bowl, bowl with beef. <laughs> I would. I haven't had a bread. Oh, oh it's this yes. guy. We like this guy. The Nico's. The Nico's knife. Yeah, he's he's the star of this video with his beautiful, nature, all natural cooking videos. It's a nice knife too. Probably made it himself and sharpens it in his blacksmith's anvil that he carries around with him. Is he gonna make his own bread? No way. Parsley, cilantro, they look similar. They do. Sometimes you have to smell it to know. Mm -hmm. They certainly don't taste similar, I'll tell you that much. Oh, no. He is making his own bread, sicko mode. Ooh. That must have been some high heat oil right there. Yeah, that's the thing about when you're cooking over a fire, you kind of just have to deal with it being high heat. Like there's no, yeah. you know. Which is, well, I guess, what cast iron is for. Oh, yeah? Uh, Come on, dude. Oh, yeah. Why is that bread dude, look so good? that bread. Good. Oh, melt the cheese. Put the egg in there, big dog. Yup. Roast it up again. Oh, this What's guy the thing is, on top this guy for? is killing me. Look at that. Thing on top to have it heat more evenly. No, he put stuff on top of the cover, though. Oh, to heat the cover up more. He was just putting, like, coals on top to make it hotter come from the top. Got it. That guy's a legend, dude. He is. Oh, I want him to make me a wild bread bowl. That looks so good. <laughs> well, I've seen enough unconventional ways to prepare food. I'm going to unconventionally walk across the driveway and eat conventionally in my kitchen right now. <laughs> Thank you guys for joining us. I hope you have an unconventional day. Unconventionally.